All right, as always, let's uh, start with a little music. You guys like this song? Uh, let's get to work. So first of all, we've got Janelle and David. They're going to buy a home for $115,000. They've got some money saved up, so they need uh, to borrow seventy-five from the bank. That's not too bad. Uh, they want to know, or we need to figure out, uh, what's the bi-weekly payment. Uh, if they could finance the house, 20 years, 4.7. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go figure out what the bi-weekly payment would be. Uh, this is a loan. It, uh, the compound, the payment frequency was bi-weekly, therefore 26. The compound frequency was semi-annually, therefore two. Initial loan amount was 75G. One, two, three. A final loan, we don't know. Bi-weekly payment, we don't know. Interest rate was 4.7. And then it was for 20 years. Now let's take a look at what's the bi-weekly payment. Please tell us. Ooh, 220 bucks. Bi-weekly, probably because that's how they get paid, right? It's usually a good idea to pay your mortgage as uh, as how you get your paycheck. But take a look at these scary numbers. Um, no, that's not what I want to show you just yet. Okay, so let's copy this guy. So control C, and let's throw that in right here. All right, next part. How much of the principal will they have paid off after five years? Okay, so let's go back to the calculator, and we're going to use it a little bit differently than we have before. Keep everything the same at the top, still a loan, still 26 payments a year, still compounded twice a year, uh, still 75, poof, poof. Everything stays the same except now we want to change this to five years, right? And let's take a look at how much is left. Shaboof. $62,000 is still left on, on the home. And look at these scary numbers. Yeesh. So they've paid this of the principal, 12 grand. They've paid this to interest. That goes to the bank, $16,000. So more money's gone to the bank than actually paying off their home in the first five years. And uh, this is how much they've paid total out of pocket, $28,000. All these numbers are scary. Anyways, let's go back. What was the question asking? How much of the principal would they have paid off after five years? Uh, loan principal paid. That's this guy right here, right? Loan principal paid. So let's highlight this. And copy, control C, and let's paste it over here. Good, twelve thousand dollars. Now, uh, a little bit tricky. This part's really hard. This is why I'm doing a video because there's a lot of explaining here. In the house appreciates, that means goes up five percent, five point three percent per year. Determine the equity. Equity means how much they have in the house after five years. I broke it down into t these two questions. How much is a house worth after five years? Let's do that one first. So, the house started at one hundred fifteen grand, right? And we need, it goes up 5% in year one, another 5%, another 5%. So let's use the calculator for that. <clears throat> let's come over here. Now this changes a little bit. It is now an investment. Payment frequency. Well, they don't technically have a payment frequency, but I'm still going to click this to one. Compound frequency. The It only appreciates once per year. Present value. How much is the home worth? 115 grand when they bought it. One, two, three. Future value. We do not know. That's what we're going to solve for. Annual deposit. Leave it blank. Interest rate, this is the appreciation rate. In this case, 5.3, and it was for five years. Let's see how much the home is worth. That is gonna be the future value. Click this guy, shaboof, and the home is now worth almost $150,000. That's a pretty good investment, right? So how much is the house worth? Let's paste that into here. So the house is worth $148,000. Now, how much do they still owe? Well, they've paid this, and they started with this. So let's use this as a calculator and figure out what they still owe. So uh, we're gonna they started with, so I hit the equal sign, uh, 75,000, one, two, three. Uh, that's how much they started with, minus, and this is what they've paid, just click the cell, poof. And there you go, and there's our answer. You can do this with a calculator, of course, uh, or a piece of paper, you don't have to use the Excel sheet to do it. Uh, so how much do they still owe? $62,000, right? Um, next, if the house appreciates, uh, in five, uh, determine the equity of the home after five years. Now, guess what? The house is worth this. This is how much they still owe. They get the difference. They get the good stuff. So, again, let's use this as a calculator. This is going to be equals uh, what the house is worth, shaboof, minus uh, what they still owe to the bank, shaboof. And that is the gravy. That's the, in their pockets if they sold the house for this amount, assuming they got that on the market, okay? So 
again, 86,000. I think we're done, right? 221, poof, poof, poof. A lot going on there, okay? So we'll do a couple more examples with that appreciation and the equity and what goes to the bank and what goes to the person's pocket. Uh, but that's all for now. Uh, thanks. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something.